Our second guest is a very respected member from Georgia. He is a bishop of the Protestant Church of Georgia, Mr. Milkhaz Songolashvili. He is also professor at the University of Ilya for theology. I would now request Mr. Songolashvili to say a few words. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, I would like to send my special salams to His Holiness Khalifatul Masih al Hamais, Braza Miza Masur Ahmad, to all the participants here, to the venerable missionaries who are working hard in different parts of the world spreading the message of God. To all brothers and sisters, all volunteers, all guests and friends. Today I'm speaking here as a member of spiritual community whose founder was Hazrat Ibrahim, Abraham. And the name of my Lord, and friend is Jesus Christ, a messenger of Allah and his word. Rasulullahi wa kalimatuhu. I came here from the country of Georgia. This is a country which pretty much like Ahmadiyas know well what does suffering mean. I came here along with my compatriots to experience Jalsa Germany. Our group is made here by Sunni, Shia, and Christian clergy and laity. We came here to learn from your experience and enjoy whole encounter with your community. Ahmadiyya community has just been established in the country of Georgia. Beloved brothers, Mohsin and Jawad are leading this enterprise. It is our hope and prayer that newly established Ahmadiyya community in Georgia will make significant contribution to the interreligious dialogue cooperation for peace and justice. I cannot help admiring beauty of this gathering, gathering of people of faith. As I have said many a times, the logistic grandeur of this gathering is absolutely staggering. We are grateful for stretching your hands of friendship and cooperation with representatives of different faith traditions, different culturally, religiously, otherwise. In this world, dear brothers and sisters, which is being divided by all sorts of phobias, fears, prejudices, hatred, your magnanimous invitation to this gathering of Jalsa Germany, yes, is yet another beacon of hope. Hope that all together we can work for the target. Love for everyone, hate for no one. Unlike us, God Almighty has no limitations. He says in his holy book, The Quran, to God belong the East and West, 
lillahi mashriku maghrib wheresoever you turn there is a face of allah fa'ina wa tuwalu fasama wa chulahi so i look at you you look at me we look at each other and we see face of god time has come brothers and sisters when we should start face of allah both in each other and in in the suffering world world around us i have been asked many a times here why are you praying with us are you a muslim why are you praying with muslims i do understand the reason why i ask but i find it rather sad that praying together with the children of ibrahim is seen as unnatural and unusual there is only one god and in this famous surah we always say yaka na'budu yaka nistaqim this is why i feel strongly that talking about interface dialogue just for talk sake is not enough we need to demonstrate that we belong to the same god the best way to show or the first step to show is to pray along with each other very much like martin luther king junior we should also have a common dream to say that one day people of all faiths and traditions or none will work together tirelessly and fearlessly for peace justice and reconciliation people of this planet we realize that all of us belong to each other and diversity among us is not a threat but rather a gift and blessing of god almighty people of this planet will show compassion empathy not only with fellow human beings but everything that has been created by god almighty may god bless ahmadiyya community around the world may god almighty direct all of us in the ways of love peace justice and reconciliation may almighty god help us to work together towards these goals assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi amen islam ahmadiyya islam heist islam heist